What's going on guys, Amazing Wyatt here back with another video and today we're going to be going over who you should be picking from the loyalty reward at 900 for Goddess Elizabeth's banner. So let's get into it. Alright, so as you guys can see, we have either Law Saint Meliodas or Goddess Elizabeth and this is like, um, this is just there for anyone that maybe pulled Goddess Elizabeth within the 900 and doesn't maybe doesn't have Law's Vein or any any situation like that where you're not really sure who you should be picking um i'm going to be going over in this video who i think you should be picking and who will benefit you in the longer run so let's actually move over to gc database here here we are and so now we're going to be going over the Lost in Meliodas and Goss Elizabeth and their kits and who I think you should be getting the dupes for. All right, so Lost in Meliodas, the thing with him and for his ultimate is that his secret technique actually scales heavily, like, like very, very heavily, man. Like a 6-6 Lost in Meliodas is a whole different unit than a 1-6 Lost in Meliodas. And I, and I can even um, attest to that because I do have a 6-6 Lost in Meliodas on Global, if you guys know. Um... I actually pushed the top 19 in the world in in uh, the ungeared PvP 4v4 with 6-6 Lost in Meliodas because I was guaranteed to uh, wipe full team. So Lost in Meliodas, when invested with dupes, he is a very, very good unit, man. On In my opinion, I do think Lost in Meliodas at 6 out of 6 is the best unit in the game. Um, obviously, that's just my opinion. You guys can say whatever, but um, he is is just insane, man. He really is. So I would recommend you actually get a dupe for Lost in Meliodas if you can from the banner, but um, let's go over Goddess Elizabeth and, and see about that first. So for Goddess Elizabeth, for her ultimate, the multiplier, it scales, it's not as heavily as Lost in Meliodas, but I do think that a 6-6 six, six Goddess Elizabeth is very, very powerful, man. Um, if we look at her multiplier here, it goes from 30 to 35, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So around 4-6 is, is when it starts to get like a bigger jump. Um, I, I would say like a 4-6 Goddess Elizabeth is when you start like ramping up on her ultimate there for the um, heal multiplier. But for the reflect damage, it's actually around, yeah, about 4 to, fi 4 to 6 as well. Because you get 80% reflect and then 100% at 5-6, 120 at uh, 6 out of 6. So, um, if I were to choose which unit you should get dupes on or should invest in from the Goddess Elizabeth banner, I would say if you already have one copy of Goddess Elizabeth, feed the rest of your dupes in the Lost in Meliodas. And the reason for that is because Goddess Elizabeth doesn't really revolve around her ultimate, man. Um, obviously, her ultimate is a, is a good bonus, but she mainly revolves around having this passive right here where she um, revives an ally and then having the barrier right here um, or it nullifies any card effect except Rupture, which is, is very broken, man. So goddess elizabeth if you don't have a copy of her obviously pick her up obviously pick her up if you if you go 900 and you don't pull goddess elizabeth on the banner definitely pick her up um if you don't have either of them if you don't have lost vein or goddess elizabeth and you're at the 900 i would say at that point pick up goddess elizabeth because lost vein meliodas at one of the six isn't very powerful man he really isn't and i do think that you can actually run goddess elizabeth with some other comps to do well like you can run blue king um red gother you can even do green gother in this in uh in place for him you got a lot of options with uh just goddess elizabeth and a one six lost vein meliodas is kind of useless when you could be using a stronger ultimate unit because one out of six is only 300 percent and um 20 percent per card in hand while six out of six is 450 percent and 60 percent per card with um act, uh, attacks effective against all types so that's basically that for the video in conclusion if you don't have either of the units i would recommend you pick up the goddess elizabeth if you have one copy of goddess elizabeth and one copy of lossy meliodas i would get the lossy meliodas to start feeding him up because i do think that um investing in lossy meliodas is going to help a ton especially um because his ultimate scales very very heavily per dupe um it, it is it is very very big jumps every time you get a dupe on lossy meliodas so that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out